एवरीवन दिस वीडियो इज अगेन कंटिन्यूएशन ऑफ पार्ट वन वेर वी हैड डिसमेंटल्ड अवर एल्फल अवर प्यूरीफायर बाउल बॉडी एंड हरिजोनल शाफ्ट सो आई हैड मैंशन अर्लियर वी रिमूव द मोटर जस्ट बिकॉज वी नीड टू चेंज द बेल्ट ऑफ दिस पर्टिकुलर प्यूरीफायर सो that is the reason we remove the motor and it is very complicated for a alpha level purifier to change the belt so we need to remove the entire body and we need to take out the horizontal shaft also so that is what uh, we had seen in our last video in this video we are going to fit back the horizontal shaft we are we didn't dismantle it we are just like that going to put it back after fitting a new belt so we continue in this video so you can see the belt was already fitted now before fitting the air deflector the vertical shaft all you need to do is you have to give a coat of lube oil and you have to lower the deflector vertical shaft assembly very slowly it should not rotate because if you rotate as i said earlier it there are chances for the tool to get loosened and make sure the hole at the bottom of the oil mist detector or cleaner that is main thing and simple you can follow the pattern of uh, uh, the air deflector and fit it inside the body so uh it is uh, very slowly it has to be lowered and mainly it should not be turned that is the main safety and uh, be careful with your finger it may cut if it get trapped in between the body and the deflector now you can see the belt is in place and uh, i would try to rotate it and see you can see i am going to rotate it so um, these are all the bolts that uh, tightening bolts for the air deflector so i am fitting the bolts in place tighten it and main thing is there is a o ring which you need to so just uh, remove the o ring of the plug and renew with a new one so i just want to try the belt uh, whether it is rotating or not yes it is very perfect and uh, tighten the screws which is connecting the deflector and uh, you change the o ring of the water line this is the o ring make sure you are using a proper uh, part number so we had fitted the o ring so after fitting the o ring next uh, you have to fit the neck bearing cover it's your uh, deflector ring and change the o ring for the deflector ring also use uh, silicone grease this uh, silicon grease will be provided by alpha level only so instead of using vaseline you can use the same silicon grease which is provided by the maker alpha level has this uh, particular uh, paste silicon paste for consuming to the uh, spare part o-ring and all so yeah deflector part is done uh main thing which you have to be very careful is uh, always uh, make sure whenever you are doing any bowl routines no you better change the o-ring because uh, sometimes what happens is for uh, a small o-ring you have to pull out the entire bowl so it's always advisable to change it is not like every time you open you have to change uh, if it crosses about to uh, reach its overall level then you can uh, change it next this is our uh, neck bearing cover 
it also have a uh, o-ring chain that o-ring also and uh, there is a labyrinth seal which is teflon which we had already changed you can see the white color one it's very recently changed so we are not going to change this uh, labyrinth ring again and uh, yeah now we are changing the o-ring so the o-ring is in place now next we have to fit back the cover neck bearing cover so give a coat of uh, uh, silicon paste so that uh, it will uh, allow the cover to go inside very smoothly so it is inside and make sure the hole is clear sometime what happened is some rust and all goes inside and uh, blocks the way so it is always better to clean the water ways so again that is one more wearing o-ring on that side so change uh, clean all the grooves uh, that is very important all the water grooves you, know, you have to clean uh, blow air make sure no foreign particles were inside and this is all the water chamber where your plugs will get uh, in contact you remember uh, we had changed the o-ring for a plug so this will go inside that plug area so now you can fit the neck wearing cover and for this the slot has to be matched the plug should enter it so now we are okay next comes the just push it it will go inside again the same tool which we are uh, using for a movie use the same tool so before fitting this neck bearing uh, cover as i said uh, you have to check the water channel is not cloaked so that is the main thing that you need to be very aware of so that is okay now so just give a hit on top of it once it is in place then you can fit the deflector ring and next you can tighten the little tap don't use any hard metal because uh, this cover is of uh, aluminium like uh, material so it get to get uh, damaged and then next comes the operating water cover operating on the operating water cover is the one which we cleaned check the o-ring and all yeah it comes directly on top of the deflector ring and the water plug will connect with the operating water cover okay now it is in place so next we have to tighten the screw put board and tighten it here the main thing that we need to check is in this operating water cover labyrinth seal and water channel and o-ring space and o-ring of the water plug to be changed these are all the four things that we need to keep it in mind okay so now next we are going to tighten it tighten all the bolts before uh, fitting any bolts always make sure it is buffed tighten it use uh, proper uh, tightening torque and next comes the bowl routines so now we are going to attack the bowl you can see all the bowl disc or everything cleaned and kept ready so uh, the cleaning of uh, this bowl should be done very precisely so that uh, you don't miss anything all the nut bolts should be buffed and uh, properly it has to be coated with the uh, molecule before it was getting fitted now you can see 
we had this uh, holder chamber the body is being put upside down we had already removed the holder that i couldn't able to show in the in this video but it is very simple just put the bowl upside down and you can remove the holder you can see all these three plugs plug should be okay o-ring should be changed and that is one more o-ring and side of it it's a teflon o-ring this has to be changed so these are all the things that you have to keep it in mind when you are fitting back the um, what do you call uh, holder in place so holder should be perfectly kept and you can see uh, it has to be matched along with the uh, keys you know that is what we are seeing now yeah next thing is you have to change the o-ring again silicon uh, paste you have to use after using the silicon paste the holder teflon ring is very important you can see now we just want to make sure everything is in place So totally one teflon ring and uh, again now we are going to put the holder in place you can see here yeah? just fix it properly in place yes correct make sure it is not damaging the o-ring it should align along with the thread area yeah now we can fit back the thread all thread should be tightened evenly the valve plugs are the very important things that you need to check uh, uh, while you are uh, putting back the operating slide you know So o-ring is in place now. Next comes the cover for operating or operating water ring. Make sure all the holes are clear with any dirt or something. And uh, you can see o-ring on top of it means labyrinth ring. Just uh, we had to match everything we had put a dot this is the dot which it has to be matched so that easy for us to assemble you don't need to confuse much so that water ring and operating cover and the holder will go in line so for the for this bowl assembly the main thing that you need to keep it in mind is change all the wiring change the teflon ring check the valve plug it should be clear that's it next again uh, renewal of o-ring as i said earlier you have to change the o-ring for every thing means uh, don't uh, think like okay it is okay it is not okay just change it so that you can avoid the problem later like you don't get into trouble and make us uh, now we're going to fit the uh, overall this uh, hose inlet outlet pipe again as i said and this is the uh, another ring there will be around four o-rings in this change all the four o-rings and check the operation of uh, bowl sorry chain check the operation of the pairing disc whether it is moving freely or not station and the slash seal ring was already fitted in place and now come the other o-rings so 
to fit the o-rings properly so that it don't get damaged or uh, it don't get uh, not properly seated so for this inlet outlet pipe you can see two o-rings in, in the middle and uh, splashed ceiling this is what you call splash ceiling and uh, two o-rings on top so total four o-rings and one splash ring now you just check the water function manually opening water closing water and sealing water so you make it uh, this is what all three chambers all the three waters you can see water is coming up perfectly so that's all water chamber is perfect now we are going to install the bowl back in place now uh, the fit the bowl body make sure it is not uh, turning or something straight away do not uh, get hit so we are lowering the bowl body carefully and now you can remove the lifting tool when you are taking out the tool it will see properly just rotate and see it should rotate very easily now next comes the bowl slide fit it in a proper way this is what you call the discharge slide put a grease or uh, what do you call uh, lube oil in the surface so that uh, ah the main thing i forgot to tell you with this uh, ceiling ring i didn't change because uh, it's in a good condition um, i will put some separate video for uh, changing of seal ring for this uh, main seal ring for this kind of uh, purifiers and it's a special tool use the tool properly and lifting tool of discharge slide it got a two slot where the legs go and fit inside and you need a little bit patience to use this tool to fit the discharge slide because you cannot damage the o-ring and you need to have little more patience to fit this uh, discharge slide in place give a little tap and you can remove the tool after it is completely seated okay so we are done with this very nice we will continue in the next video